Mexico did see it all this morning. Snow, rain, high wind, thunder, and even lightning. News 13's Caitlin McCarthy is live in downtown Albuquerque with a look at all of this morning's weather. Caitlin? Mike, these winds are absolutely howling out here this afternoon. It's been this way all morning. We've seen cars blowing all over the roads and just about everything that's not been nailed down. And every so often, there'll be a huge gust that almost blows me over up here. Now, let's take a look at some of the weather video we've captured from all over the state. From the north, the Santa Fe area was a winter wonderland overnight. The streets were silent as the snow fell, covering roads and cars. This morning, blowing snow created slow-moving traffic on Interstate 25 between Santa Fe and Glorieta. To the west, Gallup was pummeled by the snow. Plows were out in full force, clearing away the snow, even as it continued falling. Drivers dealing with the heavy snowfall had this to say. Snowpack, uh, drive slow. Uh, the only way to avoid them is just going slow and uh, try to stay on the road right. The drive between Gallup and Albuquerque didn't get much better by 10.30 this morning. Our Ian Schwartz came across a jackknife tractor trailer on the side of the interstate. In the metro area, Northeast Heights drivers had to carefully maneuver their cars through snow, slush, and wind at Lomas and Tennessee. Once the sun came up, it was time to get to work, clearing off that freshly fallen snow. The morning commute was a bit slick over by busy Eubank in Montgomery as slush filled the roads. Plows worked hard to clean off the road for people on their way to work, and that wind just wouldn't let up. And as Jason told us, those winds are going to be fierce today, and I can definitely say that they are fierce at this point right now. So be careful when you're driving, and be careful when you're going over bridges. They may be icy, and they might be a little too windy up there, and also when you're driving near flat areas. So just be careful out there today. Mike, back to you. Okay, Caitlin, a lot of us, I think, agree that the wind is the worst part. Appreciate it. For updated road conditions, you can call 511 to find out what's in store for you once you get behind the wheel in New Mexico. Icy conditions may be to blame for two separate roads over accidents in northwest Albuquerque that happened right next to each other. The accidents happened just north of Western Trails on Unser this morning. No one was hurt in either case. Police briefly closed Unser to clean up the wrecks, but traffic continued to move with no major tie-ups. Icy roads are blamed for two fatal accidents yesterday in New Mexico. 59-year-old Jimmy Shendo of Jemez Pueblo was killed when his pickup slid into a tractor trailer on US 550 in Sandoval County. And a 57-year-old woman from Dallas was killed when her vehicle was struck by a truck in the Santa Fe foothills. Keep it here for the very latest on the storm in every newscast, or you can log on to krqe.com for up-to-the-date forecasts. Now